Hello and welcome to episode 2 in our diagnostic project. This episode focuses on the making of my film, Gone. When taking the test footage of this film, I ran into a couple of problems straight away. The park we used was quite populated and I didn't want to include unwilling participants in the footage. I had obviously decided to use my own children and my partner for the actors and I had planned to just use whichever of my youngest two kids was cooperating on the day. Usually by the time we can get out of the house, my one year old daughter is asleep or cranky because she wants to be, so I'd assumed it would be my three year old son who would play the child. He is usually more cooperative but he does have autism, so there could be no disruption to his routine in order to film. I just had to get the shots as we were doing what we would normally do. To make this easier we went to a more secluded park where there was no strangers to disrupt him, and I could film freely without annoying anyone. I filmed each step according to the storyboards. They each had to be done in one take as any attempt for a retake would cause a meltdown, but thankfully it went quite smoothly and I managed to capture all required footage. Even though it was cold on the day, the weather even brightened up a bit and brought out the colours of the painted metal. <laughs> That's ridiculous! You look like you shit yourself when you're running off! It was then on to the edit and the first task of cutting everything down to the 10 second limit. It was at this point that I realised I had overestimated the amount of coverage needed and a few shots were discarded completely. The duration of 10 seconds was good for cutting out any fluff. There was only room for the very most vital of information and I believe it made for a more effective shot. I then went on to add sound effects to intensify the action on screen and the feeling of panic in the viewer. The sound added a lot to the end product and its feeling of intensity. The first version of this film was then complete, and here is how that turned out. <laughs> I think I was successful in conveying a feeling of panic with this shot. I knew the sound would be more important than the image in this case, so I didn't concentrate on composition or framing too much and just tried to follow the action in the manner of a frantic parent to put the viewer in the moment with the mother. This is when I went on to play with some alternative edits. <laughs> this whole project was a good test in editing skills, from getting the 10 second duration to playing around and generating either a different narrative or a different expression of panic. I believe we have learnt some skills within this project that we will take on to use in our workflow in future productions. Thanks for watching and see you next time.